Well, we pumped it up a notch, and now we have 3D track motion. Notice that we had to give up glow and shadow. Now we can move this object around in three-dimensional space. Simple, but alarmingly effective. Note that these controls change just the way you would expect. We now have three dimensions, X, Y, Z, width, height, and depth. Orientation, same thing, X, Y, and Z. Rotation in three dimensions. We have the same keyframe controls, the same workspace controls with the additional axis, same snap settings. Let's take a closer look at this 3D stuff. I've created three clips here using the checkerboard. You'll note here I've created three different color combinations. That's all I've done. Then using the track motion dialog for each of the events, I've created different motion in different planes. For example, one, two, three, X, Y, and Z planes. Suppose what we ultimately want is for all of these events, all of these clips to be taking place in a quarter screen window in the upper right hand quadrant of the screen. We can do that with 3D track motion and an additional concept called parent-child relationships or nesting. Notice how the yellow and blue and the red and white intersect with each other. But it seems that the green never gets through. This little button over here, Make Compositing Child, can change that. See what happens here? What happens if we make this one a child also? Changes the effect. Same thing here. It changes the effect. Now, this is the parent. The parent can have track motion. All the tracks can have track motion, and they do. The parent can have track motion as well. If I click here, I get the parent track motion. Note that 3D Source Alpha is selected here. I have other options, as you know. And we'll look at custom in a moment, but that's back in the 2D space. Note that I can change the layout, the perspective that is displayed. I have several different options. I find this one particularly attractive. Now suppose I want to, at this point in time, right here, suppose I wish this entire piece, watch what happens now. I've added one keyframe in the parent track. Now the whole thing moves up into that corner. There are a couple of other effects we can add to this. We don't have any data, any event in the parent track. What happens if we change the compositing mode in the parent track to custom? Now we get a choice of a Sony bump map, a displacement map, or a height map. Let's choose a bump map and see what that gives us. Spotlight, 
Very interesting. Very interesting. We can change the type of spot and the position. Size, width, focus, ambiance. Okay. How about a displacement map? Okay, it's, it's displaced the image so that part of the image is somewhere else. Interesting. Notice what happens if I make the parent a little bit bigger. I now have a button that allows me to see all the keyframes that I've implemented right here in the timeline. Multiple options, multiple controls, multiple effects. 3D compositing in Vegas.